What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another MacBook accessory for you guys today. And today, we take a quick look at a palm guard for the new 2016 Touch Bar MacBook Pro. So I reviewed screen protectors, cases, keyboard covers for the MacBook, but yes, they also make a palm guard for the MacBook. What else could you cover on it? I don't know, but this is the last thing I could think of. Now I did pick one of these up from Moshi last year for the Retina MacBook Pro. However, they no longer make one for the new model, the 2016 Touch Bar. So I picked this one up off of eBay. It shipped from China, took like three weeks. I don't know if this is gonna be as good quality or not. Doesn't look like it so far. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Nothing special about this. This comes in all four different colors, rose gold, gold, space gray, as well as silver, and you can also get top protection and bottom protection as well with the same material. The reason I picked this one here is because the title said 3M paper, so hopefully they're not lying to me about that. And I'm also just going to be covering the palm guard, so I don't plan on using the trackpad here or that top portion. But anyways, let's slap this on the MacBook and see what it looks like. All right, so here is what the skin looks like on the MacBook here. Uh, first off, I just as I mentioned earlier, I did cut off the top piece here because I didn't want this back part covered as the hinge is fixed. Uh, the skin here does add thickness to the computer and because the hinge is fixed, I didn't want to risk damaging it as the front part here. No issues since there's no hinge or anything, but the back part there, I didn't want to risk damaging that. So that's why I cut that piece off. And for those of you wondering why I have this part here lifted up just a little bit, I actually have a piece of the, the sticker backing and uh, left it here so I can lift this up later this week just to see if it leaves any residue um, because I don't want any residue left over in case I ever need to remove this as I'm pretty sure it would be very difficult to take off. Anyways, my initial impressions on the skin, well, it basically works as advertised. It's protecting the palm area of a MacBook and the uh, cutouts around the trackpad as well as the edges here are pretty much 99% spot on. Here's a closer look at the edge here. You can kind of see the space between the MacBook and the uh, skin here, which again, I'm pretty happy about because it works flawlessly with my case. Um, but yeah, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. It's almost precise, but pretty unnoticeable at a distance. The finish on here is a little bit different compared to the metal finish on the MacBook. Both are matte finishes, but I'll say that the skin here has a slightly rougher feeling to it. The last thing I guess is color to really talk about. In short, the space gray on the skin here is a little bit different of a shade of gray versus the space gray on the MacBook, which is no surprise since unlike silver, which is a little bit easier to match, space gray is a much more specific color. So not surprised that a third party like whoever made this um, had trouble matching it with the space gray MacBook. Basically, it's kind of obvious that yes, there is something on here. Does it look terrible? In my opinion, I don't think it looks terrible, but it certainly is noticeable. In certain lighting conditions, it's more obvious in some like right now, blends in a little bit better, but nonetheless, you will notice that there is something on here. So in short, I'm pretty happy with it. Everything worked out, it lines up. There's a slight scratch on here from the manufacturer. I may email them and ask them to send me another one that isn't scratched up. But um, for 15 bucks, hey, you really can't go wrong with a MacBook accessory. That being said, is a palm guard worth it? Well, there's screen protectors, there's keyboard covers, there's cases for these computers. And out of everything I reviewed so far for the MacBook in terms of protection, the Palm Guard is probably the least one I recommend or the last one on the list. For those who are wondering why I like to use a Palm Guard, long story short, I had a 2011 MacBook Pro. I don't know what happened. I went to type and you know how when you type, you kind of slide your palms around the uh, palm rest area here. I guess a piece of dust or debris or something got stuck underneath my palm when I went to type and it scratched, it made a little scratch on the left side here. And I wasn't too happy about that. So for future MacBook Pros like this one here, I always get a palm guard to prevent that from happening because, well, let's just say it's easier to replace a palm guard than to try and fix a scratch on your computer. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's not something you would need, but if you're looking for something like this, I'd recommend it. It doesn't hurt. And uh, if you want to get this, I recommend just eBay searching 3M 2016 Touch Bar MacBook Pro skin, something along those lines, and you should be able to find it. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the top there or bottom, and I'll see you all in the next video.